guys, welcome back to another video. A bit of a different video for you guys today. Um, it's gonna be a bit of a community video. I'm gonna be featuring a few different channels. Uh, everyone's stuck at home, so i uh, give you a bit more things to watch, possibly. So um, if you guys like this idea of just me showing a few different channels on this channel, let me know, I'll do a few more of these. Uh, if you guys want to, um, put a link to your YouTube channel, or YouTube uh, video in the comments. And if you guys like this uh, format, I'll be making some other ones and kind of featuring some more people in around uh, North America. So let me know. Leave a comment if you like it. Leave a comment if you don't like it. Like the video if you like it. Dislike it if you don't. And um, yeah, it could be a possible new Monday Monday video for everyone at home. So um, we're going to start off with uh, Saltwater Sean. He does uh, diving videos and uh, snorkeling videos over on the East Coast. Oh, that guy's crazy. He's swimming in January. <laughs> So um, I'm going to put that up and I uh, hope you guys enjoy the clips he sent me. Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. We're in Peggy's Cove today. Got, there's a lot of lobster traps. I think some fishermen are planning to go out. The tide is crazy low. Usually this boardwalk that I'm on uh, is pretty high up, but you can see uh, it's gone down quite a bit. Uh, this is the lowest I'll have ever gone in the water here at Peggy's Cove and I'm really excited to get in and see what's out there. So the temperature is around 4 degrees Celsius but the water temperature is 14 degrees so it should be able to last for a little bit. Hope you guys enjoy. It's a good haul already. This one is kind of cool. Old 7 up bottle. Yeah, that was cold. I was in the water for about an hour and my toes are so cold. But I'm excited to show you guys what I got. So let's go down this plank again and let's see. I'll show you what I have. This is probably my best find of today. This says Raleigh's trademark. I don't know what this was for. Um, so I'm going to figure out what this company was about and what they made and uh, then I'll put it in the uh, description down below. All right guys, well that's it. Thanks for watching uh, today's video. I really appreciate it. And uh, if you liked the video, hit the like button. And if you're not a subscriber, I would appreciate if you guys could subscribe, sorry, just uh, getting warmed up here. I hope you guys have a good day or night wherever you are in the world. And uh, just want to send a lot of love from Peggy's Cove, Nova Scotia. So Sean finds a ton of just different stuff. You never know what he's really going to pull up uh, in the ocean there. So if you like him, go check his channel, give a sub, and um, hopefully you enjoy uh, his content that he puts out. Uh, so next we got uh, Coins and Relic Ontario. Uh, he is over in uh, the Toronto area. He does uh, metal detecting, uh, he does rock hounding, and he also looks for bottles as well. So uh, he sent me a few clips. So I hope you guys enjoy that. And uh, he's got some pretty cool finds. So uh, hopefully you enjoy what he's got. Hey guys, so again today doing some bottle digging. And I found a few, and I'll show you what I got in the hole, which I think is a big emboss bottle. <clears throat> I know it's got some embossing on it, but it looks like a big aqua. It's got some embossing right there. It says Toronto on it. I don't know if you can see that. So it could be a big soda bottle. It's in there tight, so it's going to take me a while to get that out. Okay guys, it's ready. There we go. I think it's ready. Oh. Oh, it's a chemist bottle. Oh, man. Oh, look at that top. Oh, man. Oh. Let's see what it says. Give it a little wipe. 
Hygieia Waters, J.J. McLaughlin, chemist, Toronto, Ontario. Oh, that's freaking amazing. That's crazy. But I got a bottle sticking out right there. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, it's a Coke. Well, look at that. He found oh, his Coke. Yeah. Straight side Coke. And this one appears intact. He looks happy. Nice yeah, job. I love those. It's not the Toronto, Ontario one, but. It's a nice bottle. It's still a nice bottle. The last one I found was Toronto. But yeah. Cool. Beautiful. Well done, well done. Yes, man. We got uh, a little blue. Oh, it could be an ink or a bromo. Not sure. It's an ink. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Yeah, we'll give that a little wipe. I don't know if there's anything on it. Could be an Underwoods, I guess. So yeah, a little screw top ink. So that's cool. I don't have a cobalt blue ink yet. Hey guys. Well, I've been into it for about a half hour. I found a few tiny nuggets. But I found a first today in that hole. And it's, uh, it's a little silver wire. And it's a leaf of silver that's sandwiched between two pieces of calcite. Look at that. That is awesome. Beautiful. That's worth the trip up and I've only been here half hour, 40 minutes. Beautiful, beautiful. So if all this COVID stuff kind of settles down, hopefully me and Andrew will be able to get out, to, uh, me, Jay, and Andrew will be able to get out and uh, make some videos uh, together this year. And we'll see how it goes. Hopefully uh, the COVID stuff kind of settles down, but uh, you never know. So um, check them out if you guys liked what you saw. Uh, next up, we got uh, uh, Jansen from uh, Jay Steel's Adventure in a Variety. Uh, we have done a few videos with him as well. Uh, he's, <laughs> he's a really cool guy. Uh, him and his buddy Willie, he's uh, he's a bit crazy, but uh, they make some cool stuff. Uh, so he's got a ton of uh, different videos, like his channel says, variety. So uh, here's a bit of clips that I grabbed from his YouTube channel. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. Hi there, I'm Jay Steele from Jay Steele's Adventure and Variety. I do a little bit of metal detecting, urban exploring, fishing adventures, and just a whole lot of different variety of things. Check out my channel at Jay Steele's Adventure and Variety. So I'm on the board here. I just dug a nickel from 1961. It's got like the octagonal shape to it. And pretty good shape. I've been swinging around for a little bit. I got another little uh, high ringer over here. That's looking pretty good. And I don't want like any comments about my crock wearing? I'm apparently getting warmer. Oh, looks like a coin. So 1971. Got something here. Oh God. So Willie stumbled uh, upon a nice little uh, mini dump here. We were just uh, checking it out, and there's a Davis, the vegetable painkiller. This guy here was sitting here, but it's broke. Got uh, part of the carbide lantern right here, and still really good shape. Look at this one, uh, yeah. it's got like the top. Yeah. Huh. So, a lot of different uh, purple glass, just like a whack of shards. So we're gonna dig around in here and see if we find anything good. Got something here, it might be whole. Ooh. Sweet. Still got like something plugged in it there, but consult with the boys to see what this is. I just got this bad boy. Nice looking, damn, see? 
I wanted to come. Oh heck! Oh nice! I, I, we actually found one of these last time. That's the applied top. That's a uh, that's a pre 1905. Sweet. Oh, it's a. Uh, uh, that's nice. Oh yeah, that's almost a weird top. Yeah, that's almost a weird top. Yeah, no, I, I was I kept one of these from last time. That is nice. Well, last but not least, we got a uh, viewer submission. Uh, it's by Dustin. Uh, he is also digging in Sudbury, Ontario. Uh, I asked him if he could film some of the finds for me, and he did. So uh, this is what uh, he sent me, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy. He doesn't have a YouTube channel. I've uh, said he should probably make one, but uh, again, if anyone has any viewer submissions they'd like to send in, uh, again, leave a, leave a comment with a link to the video, and um, I'll take a look at them and possibly be in another video like this if uh, you guys like this idea. Hey there, my name's Dustin. I'm from Sudbury, Ontario. I've been working on this hole. It's a little chilly out today, but it's not winter yet, so. I have a bottle sticking out of the hole. Looks to be a dairy. I'm hoping that it's full. Decided to pull it out live for you guys. All right. Oh. Okay, it is full. It's a half pint size palm dairy. Um, oh, let's see. It's got some debris stuck to it because of the frost. It says chocolate, chocolate drink. Chocolate drink. I feel like that cleans up nicely. Palm Dairy Sudbury. All right, we have a few bottles showing. We've got this one here, that one up there, this one here, that one right there, and this one down here. So it looks like we hit a little patch here. Let's we'll start with this one over here that I showed you first. Okay, just a plain jar. No embossing. Uh, let's go with this one down here. Hopefully they're all full. Okay. That's a nice soda bottle. Let's see what we got on it. BSM. I'm guessing it's a soda. Looks like a soda. BSM. That's the embossing on it. Nice little shape. Okay, put that aside. We've got this bottle here. Looks to be some sort of whiskey. Oh wow, it's got quite a nice design on it. Let's see the bottle the bottom. Okay. Got this one here. Okay, that's broken. Don't worry about that. And this big one here, which is another plain jar. So my phone froze and shut off, but here are some of my finds cleaned up. Well, that's everyone I have for this week. So if you guys uh, like this kind of style of video, let me know, leave a comment, drop a like on the video. Uh, I'll make a few more like this possibly if I get any more submissions. So uh, let me know how you guys liked it. And if you have a submission of your own in around um, North America, leave a comment uh, with a link to your video. I'll check them out, possibly make another one of these videos for next Monday. Who knows? So uh, again, if you guys like it, let me know. If you don't like it, also let me know. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed and we'll see you guys in the next video.